All right, you guys, this is part of our next YouTube video. I put up some molding here, uh, brick molding, inch and an eighth, I believe they call it, and it's a little wider here on this side, inch and an eighth on the other side. This is that man-made stuff, so it lasts outside. It's pretty good uh, buying this instead of the woods. It's more expensive, but it lasts a lot longer. It doesn't dry rot or get uh, rotted out in the bottom for the weather, stuff like that. It's a man-made material, uh, and it screws fine, no problem. Uh, this is just braces because I'm gonna put a fan in here with a window in this with a window I'm gonna put a fan in the window <laughs> um, And I don't want people to see it. So I'm gonna leave the screen here and I'll put, of course I'll have to clean the screen from time to time uh, whatever Food stuff getting on there oil stuff like that And this brings it out the spacing just about right where I got enough with the flaps open up and down on, on the louver on the fan, I'll show you what I did in a second, but I just want you to see the, the molding I put in here real quick, just for spacing. About five inches, I need about minimum four and a half inch spacing from the screen to so the louvers can open wide open and close. It's gonna be all white, so it's gonna be a little difficult to definitely uh, see with this black screen in the front, so that's gonna help kind of mask it a little bit. So people are self-conscious out here about things, and I don't own the place, so I can take it out immediately if I have to, just a few screws. One, two, three here, and then a little mud work, and that's it. Nothing major, but make life easier for me and my wife since she cooks a lot in the kitchen, like 90% of the time, 99% of the time. And we really don't want those odors going around the house. So let me pause the video while I show you the setup, okay? Okay, this is my next uh, project. A little hot mess we got going on here. This is the fan, about, I think, 80 bucks or so on Amazon. Um, 10 inch louver had the most amount of uh, CFM, is that correct? Uh, cubic feet per minute. The motor's pretty strong and looks nice and small. I've got to, I got to wire it up. I'm also supposed to wire up a dimmer switch if I can find it. My wife can't find the switch or she can't find the cable, so I, I don't know what kind of luck we're going to get today. But we're going to just have to plug it in and out. All right, this is what the front's going to look like. So it's not going to be terribly visible. Uh, especially behind the screen. So that was the uh, effect I was going for. I was going to put it on top, but there's an exterior storm window that screwed in for the outside. I didn't want to take it out and make a hot mess. I didn't want to drill through the brick. I didn't want to drill through the wood in the window. This seemed to be about the perfect size to get the most amount of odors, cooking odors out of the place really fast. And being it's going to be right next to the stove, it's going to be good. In our location, most of the places here, about 90% of the places at least, have uh, duct work. And they have a range hood on top and it works ours just doesn't have the duct work and we can't really put it in without making a bigger hot mess so this is the least expensive way i found to do this there are other ones that go on the bottom have three small fans you can put it in a window easier my window just has to be about 21 inches have to be about an inch too short <laughs> um i could have probably put it sideways uh figured out with a piece of wood and all that but uh, i think this is going to be a lot stronger for the money, so I did have to go spend a little money. So let's pause the video and see if we can start the installation. Of course, we didn't pause the video. Let's try again. Okay, here we go with the install. You're definitely gonna see one mistake. Um, I measured it to go in the top of the window, I didn't, or in the, kind of in the frame. I didn't measure it to go doing what I'm doing now so I'm gonna have to probably put some quarter around on the sides and get it to yeah because it doesn't it's not gonna exactly line up perfectly so there's a little gap there I'm not worried about that I could even cut the top piece later on oh I'm gonna have to take it down and cut it because I don't like it I don't like the look of it let's pause the video while I cut it Are you on YouTube? yes I'm on YouTube you want to be part of it I just recorded you <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, through movie magic, the piece got cut. Put it in place. Lines up better than before. It's a little too high. I didn't like that. I want to be able to put something straight over the top here. And again, I can put some quarter around here on the sides or something. Dress it up a little nicer if I feel I have to. Okay. Using, I think, inch and five eighths, it could be two inches. These look like two inch screws. We'll go outside in a second and see what it actually looks like outside. 
because that could make the difference. Okay, uh, now would be to actually, excuse me, one, one. Okay, now would be to actually fix the top here where there's a gap between the wood and the window, which isn't a major deal. Oh, uh, that's easy enough part. Pause the video, excuse me. Okay, give you guys a slightly better view. Just four screws on each side to the brick molding. And again, there's going to be a gap here where I have to close up because I didn't measure it for this a purpose, but it's working out just fine. I'm not worried about putting a little cord around there or something like that. And let's go see what it looks like outside. There's my gap on top I got to work with. I said we'll fix that easy enough. That won't be too difficult to work with. Okay, it's definitely a little bit offbeat, kind of like me. <laughs> a little bit crooked, but nevertheless, it's there. Uh, it's not very noticeable, which is exactly what I wanted. If I would have put it intentionally where I wanted to on top, I would have had to pull that frame out. That's an added uh, storm window. That is not the original storm window that came with it. And I would have had to work a lot more magic over here. It was a lot easier to put down here. And being the screens in place helped not seeing it and stuff like that. Again, later on, I'm going to have issues with the screen. Well, I'll have to change it, clean it, uh, figure that out when I get there. But it's not going to be that hard to pull it out and take care of it. I, I can think that's it. All you guys need to see for now until I do the wiring. All right, you guys, I apologize about the background noise. Got the washing machine going on, but I just want to end the video. We got the unit in place. Um, we have to do some finishing touches. And of course, it came out a little lop lopsided, like a little hooked. So you got to pay a little more attention to detail. At least I have to pay a little more attention to detail when you are making your hole. So that's my mess up. I can unscrew it, adjust it a little more, get it a little more straighter. Kind of a piece of wood, but it ain't necessarily all for myself. Uh, for you, that's on you what you want to do. I did have to do some extra work over here, so let's move the camera over a little bit and see what exactly what I did. Okay, just give me a second here. Okay, and give this about as close as I can get to it right now. Yep, that's about as close as I can get to it. All right, All right there was uh, one junction box here, a single gang, not a double gang like this, and I had an outlet there, so I put an outlet in the switch. And sure enough, my wife says, you know, the refrigerator is plugged in today. I'm like, ah, oh, so I got to... I had to take the other box out. It basically had two nails that went into the stud, which is on this side right here, and just used my long screwdriver, pried the box out, Put this box in this has two lips one that goes here and one that goes here they're kind of flat until you turn the screw like it's going to tighten and they'll stand up and it'll tighten behind the drywall here and right here so i'm good to go i got a nice new box in there i got the uh, outlet for uh the refrigerator for the wife here and i got a fan um we're gonna go turn it on so you guys can see what's going on so just give me a second all right i'm gonna turn the switch on you guys gonna see the fan go on we pretty self-explanatory Okay. Now the wife has the refrigerator plugged in and she has a control for the fan itself. Um, gonna put a link in below where I bought it from Amazon. So if you guys are thinking of getting something similar or getting something smaller or larger, you could do something like this. I believe this is called like an attic uh, style fan where you see an attic so you get too hot, you want to get some of the hot air out of there. It might set on some kind of temperature switch. Um, that can put it on when you need it when it gets too hot up there. Uh, what's the other thing? Oh, humidity and stuff like that. So, this was the cheapest one I could find that moved as much air as I needed. I think this is a 10 inch version. Uh, I've seen a smaller 7 inch version, but I only did like half the amount. I didn't like that for the price because it was only like 15 or 20 dollars less. I, so, I didn't agree with that. If it only moved half the amount for that less money, it wasn't adequate for my needs. My wife does a lot of cooking and she's going to appreciate this. You could have fumes and actually can be not as healthy for you to breathe in all that stuff all the time. The oils and stuff that she cooks with. Um, so this is going to be actually healthy for us also. Any questions you guys just ask. Uh, it wasn't that difficult. It was definitely time consuming at least three hours. So I didn't want you guys to see all that mess me 
doing all this stuff, and I'm still not finished. I have to find a way to close those louvers. Then I'm gonna just use like a piece of wire or something to close them, and then uh, so but we got a screen outside, so we don't worry about bugs. But they shouldn't be open. They should actually be closed, so we don't let no heat out or AC out stuff like that. So I have to figure that out. Um, maybe drill a hole in the side and have a hook right here that can just turn it, close it, <laughs> attach it to the little itself. So I have to figure something out. Uh, that's an idea. Drill a hole right here and the pole will go out and have a lip on it, turn it, close the little and then take it back out of the way. So it's not uh, bothering the fan or not like that. It's not in the way of the blades. Alright, I hope you guys appreciate the video. Uh, any other questions, just ask and I will definitely see you on the next one. Bye.